Hello everyone and welcome to Victoria's Cantina. Today we're having a look at the Rebor Triceratops Horridus, the Fallen Queen 135th scale dinosaur replica slash display base. Alright you guys, and this is just as much an unboxing for me as it is a review because I have not taken it out of the box. It just came in the mail and uh, I got this from Big Bad Toy Store for $27.99 uh, plus shipping and uh, just super stoked to get this because uh, if you have the King T-Rex and uh, you know you might be like me where you had the King and you were trying to get him to pose on top of his little rock display base and it just for me never worked out all that well and now Rebor has the Fallen Queen Triceratops so that you can use that as a display base instead. Um, very nice box, just as always with the Rebor stuff. Looks very classy. Um, up the back, you get a look at the other dinosaurs in the Rebor product line. I have reviewed everything on here except for the Utyrenus Wyrex. So if you want to see any of these reviews, then uh, I will put links to them down in the description. But overall, it's just a very nice looking box. Really like how they use the outline of the body around the skeleton. Just looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and get this out of the box and take a closer look and see what it's like. So inside you get the uh, cardboard box as we always do with the Rebor stuff. And get it open. Let's see, we have a card there uh, that kind of demonstrates, you know, how you do this. It shows you the King T-Rex on top of the Fallen Queen. And let's see inside here. Huh, interestingly, they didn't put like a, um, usually they have like a plastic that covers the uh, the dinosaur, but in this case it looks like it's just sitting in there. Well, I guess it's okay though, I mean, it, it looks fine. And see what we got. Very, very stunning. Uh, as always, Rebor does not disappoint in terms of detail and uh, just overall impressiveness. This really does look very, very great. Uh, I just love the level of detail on there. I feel really sorry for this Triceratops because it's basically dead, but look at it. The detail on it is just beautifully accomplished. Coloration of the Fallen Queen is kind of like a greenish sort of color. It looks like very interesting. I wouldn't have expected them to make it like, you know, it's kind of green, but it does look very nice. And a very nice gradient, you know, kind of blends into like a lighter color it looks like. And uh, just a lot of, you know, fine lines and wrinkles. And from all angles, this really does look really good. Looks like a very dead dinosaur, which, you know, it totally is. Um, I'm a fan. It looks really, really, really good. Give you a close-up here of the head and look at those details there. Uh, as you can see, it looks really, really good. I wouldn't expect anything less from Rebor's overall detail um, that they do for their dinosaur lineup. Um, just looking at the frill here, um, you know, very nice uh, sculpt work. What's not Totally accurate. I don't know what the age of this Triceratops is, but older Triceratops um, did not have, you know, the bony protrusions like here on the frill. Um, those kind of disappeared as they got older. Um, but clearly, you know, this may have been like a younger Triceratops or something. Um, but, you know, it still looks fantastic. Uh, the horns look really, really nice. Um, it does look like there's a little bit of a paint rub or something right there at the tip of the horn. Uh, but just the detail there around the eye and the scales and all the details there in the face area, the beak, uh, the nostrils, very, very cool. Definitely is quite impressive uh, for what it is, which is basically just a display base. And uh, you can see the uh, detail there of the fatal wound, I assume, that killed the Triceratops at the uh, hands or at the claws of the T-Rex. And it's just really red and uh, kind of even looks like it's dripping some blood running down its neck right there. Uh, pretty gruesome, but gotta admit, it looks really, really nice. Um, again, I really like the coloration, like a jungle green, and then it kind of like intermingles with uh, this more of a yellowish color. It's got some beiges. You see the beige-ish yellow there on the frill, and uh, very nice uh, detail there in the claws. Uh, it's impeccable how they got every single little nook and cranny accounted for with some sort of detail. The tail looks very nice. Uh, the, the back, you can see it has like a ridge here, um, you know, that kind of just protrudes upwards and, uh, you know, goes all the way down its tail. There's a little bit of striping there on the tail as well. 
Um, the base itself is kind of like, it looks like mud. You know, it really looks like if you touched it, you know, your fingers would get wet. It's very, very, very nice. And this is pretty hefty too. I would say this is at least a good three pounds at least. Underneath, we do get some good information there. Uh, Rebor tends to do this with their bases. Um, but this one, it's part of a diorama. So, you know, we have the King T-Rex right here. And uh, we put it together with the Fallen Queen. And then, uh, I guess the diorama itself is called T-Rex versus Triceratops Diorama, Conquest, Sorrow, and Revenge. So I guess this is Conquest, and uh, this right here is Sorrow. And then Revenge uh, supposedly will be the uh, male Triceratops that is taking revenge on the T-Rex. So really looking forward to seeing how that comes off. All right, you guys, now the moment of truth. Does the Triceratops function as a proper display base? to the King T-Rex. Well, we're going to find out. Ta-da! It looks awesome. <laughs> I'm really excited to get my, t my King T-Rex standing again because, uh, you know, like I said before, it just came with this display base. You know, it's basically just a rock. And it's a nice looking rock, to be sure, but it just didn't work all that well for the King T-Rex. Way too small and lightweight. He's way too heavy. So, uh, you know, really nice to have something that he can actually balance on. And now I can get him back on display once again. I'm very excited about that. And uh, it actually looks really, really good. Just kind of, you know, claiming its uh, prey right there, the Fallen Queen. Uh, just a really awesome looking uh, pairing of these two dinosaurs. The coloration between the two is just such a stark difference where you have, you know, the very a greenish, yellowish looking Triceratops. Then you have more of the dusky looking, reddish colored King T-Rex. And just to give you a look here at how this is happening, um, basically there's a few little holes up here uh, at the top that you're supposed to stick the claws into. So once you get those claws in place uh, by positioning them like that, you can get it to kind of latch in and uh, it basically just stays in place. And for the bottom here, uh, you know, on the left foot, it's just kind of bouncing there on the mud display base. You can also scoot the leg a little bit uh, farther up on the Triceratops' body and it still balances. Um, the claws aren't in the holes which are up here, but uh, you know, just sliding it over kind of brings the T-Rex a little bit uh, more downward and uh, it still looks really good. I'm not sure this is going to be quite as stable as the other way, um, but you know, it seems to be standing pretty well right now. From all angles, this really does look really, really good and uh, you know, it's very nice to have my King T-Rex on display again and have the Fallen Queen Triceratops. Really looking forward to the male version of the uh, Triceratops King Trident. Uh, that way we can complete the diorama and finally get a living uh, Rebor version of a herbivore. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there you have it. This is the Rebor Triceratops Horridus, the Fallen Queen 135th scale dinosaur replica slash display base. Overall, I'm very pleased with the way that this turned out. Uh, the level of sculpting and detail is totally on par with, you know, what you would expect from Rebor. There are no stability issues here at all, of course, because it is a display base and uh, the Triceratops, unfortunately for the Triceratops, is dead. But it still looks absolutely stunning. Coloration on it is great. I love the way that the mud looks surrounding the Triceratops' body. Uh, the King T-Rex perched atop of the Triceratops looks absolutely amazing. And it seems to be a very good solution to those of us who are having issues getting our T-Rexes to stand previously because it seems to be pretty stable on the base. Uh, I guess time will tell whether or not uh, it does fall off or you know there are any issues, but for now it seems to be on there pretty securely. On a scale of one to five stars, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Triceratops uh, the full five stars. Uh, it's everything that it needs to be and uh, it's everything that you would expect and uh, on that level, I do recommend it to you if you are collecting Rebor's products. Even if you don't have the King T-Rex, you could still use the Fallen Queen on its own. But, uh, you know, I think it's certainly way cooler having the two together. All right, my friends, if you enjoyed this video, then I do encourage you to please like and subscribe. Let me know what you think about the Fallen Queen down in the comments. Be sure to check me out on Twitter. And as always, I want to thank you for watching Victoria's Cantina. Until next time, bye-bye.